Hi, so this will be a small video just for the fun of it because I'm doing it, so I'm filming it. I want to modify this uh, Amiga 500 so that I can have a one meg of chip memory because um, this chip, the Fat Agnes here, is a 8372A model which supports one meg, one meg of chip memory which is helpful to play some games and some demos and some uh, things on, in the um, in the Amiga scene so uh, and I want to have an, ex an accelerator so I have ordered an accelerator uh, to replace this CPU 78,020 uh, chip at 15 megahertz um, which is a you know a, a real bump in speed and gives you uh, 8 meg 8 megs of fast memory at the same time plus an interface for a compact flash uh, an IDE I think um, so that you can have an hard drive on the Amiga 500 so that you can you know have an easier way to load games and load things and play maybe program something or whatever I want to do and have the workbench uh, full workbench and everything so um, I will do that and uh, I also will do an interface which is called a Pi Storm it's using a Pi a Raspberry Pi to emulate a faster CPU which uh, we'll see how fast it is so that's the project uh, here today so modify this board to have a meg of chip memory there is also here some space for more chips and it says 512k or slash one meg of ram uh, but um, I don't know what circuitry uh, I need to do or jumper wires or anything anyway I already have a trapdoor uh, 512k uh, memory expansion and I've learned that you can use it uh, as chip memory with this chip so let's do this okay let's power on the Amiga and use uh, workbench insert the workbench here you go wait for it since I don't have a Amiga mouse yet, I'm gonna use left Amiga and arrow keys to move the cursor. And then you use Altern and Amiga keys on the left at the same time for the left mouse button push and the other on the right side for the right side button push. Okay, good. So... 800, 8, 886k of memory let's switch to the extra disk here you go then the tools and let's look at free map And we have 500k of chip memory and 512k of fast memory. Now what I want is 1 meg of chip memory, which is possible with this machine. So, And for the fun of it, let's boot up Amiga Test Kit and do a memory test. You see here, chip memory 0.5 megs and slow memory 0 0.5, 0 0.5 megs. And I want to switch it to one meg of chip memory. Let's look how to do this. And I've just tested both memories uh, extensively and it's working great. So let's go back to the bench and do the modification. Okay, so back at the 
bench. Let's unconnect this. Disconnect this. And what I want is use this 512k memory, which is now in slow memory, in configured to be used in chip memory. So what we have to do is change two jumpers. Let's. So we have to change this jumper. So so cut this trace and join the other side. And same thing here, just besides the, CP, the CPU, that's the ROM. So jumper two, I think. So we have to change the connection here and on the other one. First, let's do the, f the one near the memory. So I will just use an exacto knife and cut out the trace. Let's see if it's still connected or not. No, it's not connected anymore. So that's good. And then let's just bridge the two on the top. Like that. That's good. Okay, so next let's do this one too. So remove the small trace. test continuity did I cut it or not no I think there's there's sold solder there so let's try to remove this let's try to remove solder Then cut the trace, which I think I see now. Test again. Yeah, it's cut. Let's clean up a bit. Scrape, scrape off what's left. That's it. Then bridge the upper one. Yeah, that's perfect. Now let's take a look under the microscope. So this is the first jumper, jumper 7 near the trapdoor. We've cut here and bridged the other two, so that seems fine. Just need a little bit of cleaning. Let's, let's clean this with IPA alcohol. seems to be neat then the other one so same thing let's clean up a bit and yes that's looking good let's take a closer look at the actual cut can we yes we can so this is it so the small trace it was 
here. It's gone. This is only some fibers from the Kleenex. Here you go. Gone. Just to be sure. Let's look at the other one closer too. So here you see where I made the cut. I made the cut here. So there was a little trace there. And let's clean up with the toothbrush. And let's that's clean. So let's go back and test this if we have one meg of chip memory. Let's do the same test with the workbench and no the Amiga is not happy so let's go see what can we do about that so after reading a little about this I found that I need to disconnect this jumper uh, on the top so let's do that so I have to undo this bridge and then it should work so it's it's not cutting and jumping it's just cutting the trace or um, I have looked at the signal and it comes from here this that was a, a switch that was on that uh, memory card to switch it on and off and this jumper goes here so probably that you can remove this jumper and then not cut this one but since it's already cut we'll keep it that way and just remove the solder up there that's it simple as that See, let's, uh, let's just clean up just to make sure that there is no sol solder anywhere here. So that's it. Seems seems good. Yes. Let's look at the microscope. Yes. Um, Everything is clean. Let's clean it a little bit more with some IPA. Yes, that's good now. So let's try it again. See if it works or not. Let's first test it here you out just to see if the keyboard will flash or not let's connect this back oh and this is an, an interface for the HDMI I will make a video on constructing that that board I have more of those to construct so I will bring you with me and show you how I do it <laughs> even if I'm not that good at it and then this is the GoTech, which is a floppy drive emulator with a USB thumb drive. So you can select, say, a workbench or any disk. You can copy an ADF file onto the USB key and use it as a floppy. So, and let's connect this too and power on. So it is powering on and is it uh, let's put in the say workbench and can you see yeah you can see the led is flashing and the tracks are you can see on the little screen that the tracks are those are the tracks, the T there, it's the track of, the virtual track 
of the emulating that this, this simulator is doing. So it's loading the workbench right now. So let's see what we have at the testing station. Okay, so doing the same test with Jumper 7 cut and nut bridge with the two upper connections. Powering up, doing the Amiga kit test because it's faster. There we go. Then fast memory. And then, yes, we have one meg of chip memory and no fast memory. So F1 to test memory. So let's test the memory and see if it all works. Uh, so now let's boot uh, the workbench again. Okay, let's use the extra disk. Boy, do I need a, mo a mouse. I have one order that doesn't work that I want to repair. That should do a nice video too. And let's try frame up again. Uh, come on. Just a little higher. Here you go. And under the uh, 1024k of chip memory. Cool. So now I'm ready to get an accelerator with more space and an hard drive to play some games and do some emulation, do some Macintosh emulation and such. Cool. That's it. Um, if you like this video, please, uh, you know, do the thumbs up thing and uh, all that jazz about the YouTube thing. Uh, this is my second channel. Uh, it's only for things that I don't want to put on the main channel and uh, and I'm thinking that it could be interesting for, for some of you. Uh, it's not the same content. It depends on what I do um, during the week. Uh, but uh, I think I'm going to try to record as much as I can for what's uh, what I'm doing at the moment. So that's it. And see you in the next video. Ciao, bye.